Welcome to another tutorial um, for programming. So today we're going to look at GitHub and how to use GitHub resources um, as a user. So for example, if you have a repository you like to subscribe to and how to use that repository uh, in your project, uh, in your um, GitHub um, user account. So first you need to download a GitHub desktop. So easy, we just go to the GitHub desktop look for the application and install in your PC uh, and then uh, the second thing that you need you need uh, you need to register with github account uh, with github to get an account so for example here com. so this account already been registered I'm going to sign in So my email here mcmc.em dot makerspace at gmail.com so you would like to use that continue submit predicts you would like to, to have uh, githubs go ahead and click yes so add the repository to github desktop to start collaborating so easy um, for this, I would like to um, get registry from my other account. For example, from here, I'm going to get um, Flutter workspace and use this, clone this or open this in desktop, open GitHub desktop. So I'm going to put this inside uh, user makerspace lab document github flutter workspace so i'm going to get all the files available inside this flutter workspace into the following directory where is it oh sorry uh, again i'm going to clone open in desktop open that desktop so this is the file now, github URL. So I'm going to take this, put it into my directory. This is just a cloning. So it means that if there's any changes that are introduced into my, for example, my other account workspace, so it's going to be pushing. I cannot pull because I this is not the account that I subscribe to. Uh, but if you are in, a, in what we call as in a group, you might be able to do that by adding your group member so that you can update you can you can update through the use of, of github uh, repository so i'm going to clone this so remember the folder here under document github flutter workspace so wait for that to clone so this is done now So flutter what space wait for this All right so now you can go to that to the folder which is under document github flutter workspace now you can see that all the project is available here All right so now I can use my We just do the code and open this project. Open folder, go to document under GitHub under Flutter workspace. So for example, I would like to open my helper project. Select this folder, wait for a while. Okay. So this is just um, some update required. So wait until the project successfully loaded into your project workspace. Right, so once loaded, make sure that all the um, 
the import has been successfully loaded into your Visual Studio Code. Make sure there's no error in this, for example, in this structure. And then if it is possible, you can use um, terminal. Okay, so make sure that when you start in sorry uh, when you start to run this project press F5 and wait and wait until the project import all the required required libraries and run this on your Android virtual devices Android virtual device right, again Okay, now you can see the application start to install should be no problem so this is user account not um, the owner not the owner of the application um, repository so this one can you can just skip here this is a uh, given for the method okay so you can, you can you can start using the application Two, three, four, five. Remember me. Oh, five, six. Reference has been saved. Create new account. So you can see, you can create new account here. Allow camera to access. Next. Got it. Take picture. Success. Sometimes for the first time you might need to reverse back, take picture. Okay, there you go. You can enter all the information here. You can go back. Yep. So the application is working. You can basically import the project from my GitHub account easily. Should be no problem. Thank you.